What's going on guys, Rise Northwest Streams. Uh, not my normal setup today. Uh, I got a little time, a little space. Uh, no girlfriend, no baby in the room. So I can be over here. Um, so just wanted to do a quick overview of the shaft I just got in, the Maverick Mission Shaft. I got it in royal blue. And one of the biggest things I like about it um, in the graphics and the overall look is that it's not really like a normal silver, it's kind of like a white silver. And uh, as far as the graphics go, it's not, they didn't just bold in and make the, uh, the letter solid. They did it in like a white outline with the color um, double outlining on both sides of the white outline, which is awesome. I got the uh, royal blue one, if you can tell. There you go, you can see it. And uh, it looks really nice from afar. It just kind of looks like a plain silver shaft with the Maverick logos on it, which is uh, Pretty awesome, I'm not too flashy with the shafts, I kind of scratch off the graphics on most of my shafts, or um, the only other really shafts I have that I haven't scratched the graphics off are the Vandals, and they already have minimal graphics so I wasn't going to scratch that off. Um, so, uh, getting into the overall like, design of the shaft, it's got the traditional shape, so nothing too crazy, it doesn't have the concave sides, I would have liked to see that in this. Um, but again, that's just me. I just like the con uh, the concave size, giving me a better feel when I'm holding it. Um, the grip, there isn't really like a grip on it. It's not really sandpapery. It's not really grippy at all. It's kind of just got a smooth matte finish, which is nice. I mean, it's going to need some tape, but uh, I took tape on all my sticks anyway. So, um, not too much to complain about there. Um, oh, getting into the adjustable butt end now, which is probably the big feature. And if you don't know what that is, basically you can unscrew right here and move this up and down and all over the place and then tighten it back up and it won't move. I have mine pretty tight. Um, this is pretty much where I want it to be. Just going to cut the shaft a little short, give it a more, uh, add a little control with the shaft feeling a little shorter. Um, don't tell anyone, one of my shafts is cut down anyway. Uh, cut down it a lake yeah maybe about that much I think it's cut down a little less than that where the butt end stops to here I think one of my shots is cut down a little less than that um, so uh, don't tell anyone that's a secret um, I'm not gonna use that stick in college anyway so it doesn't really matter uh, but um, I did use it for a while and it was cut down so I was kind of breaking the rules but play dirty but don't get caught um, overall, it's a great shaft. It's really light, but um, I'm assuming it'll get heavier once I put a head on it, which, you know, that's modern-day science for you. You put something heavy on the shaft, and it gets heavier. Um, but uh, but overall, by itself, it's really light. Um, pretty balanced shaft. Not too much to say about it since I haven't used it yet, but I will use it because fall ball for me starts the 23rd of October, which is next Thursday, so I will use it. and. Uh, I'll use it for a couple practices, maybe in a couple games, and then uh, let you guys know how, I, how much I like it. Still waiting on the head for this to come in. Um, I have another Optic U coming in for this. Um, so I'm going to have a full Maverick setup. My other Optic U is a full Maverick setup too, and that's on the A1. And um, Maverick's really been stepping it up lately with their gear. Um, I've always liked Maverick. Well, that's a lie. I, haven't li I didn't like Maverick right out of the gate when they released like the Rise and the Spider. Um, the Spider was probably one of my least favorite heads. Probably still is. I can't stand that head. It's just too round, if that makes sense. Um, but uh, Maverick, yeah, they had that. I actually had a full Maverick complete stick earlier. Um, I had the Maverick Beast complete stick. And... Uh, most flimsy head I've ever had. It bent so much. It was really nice for face-offs, but I didn't take that many face-offs. Um, so it was just really flimsy. It actually ended up snapping at the throat in a really intricate way where it was the throat was still screwed on, but the rest of the head ripped off. So I had half plastic on the shaft, and then the rest of the head was ripped off. Um, so that was interesting. And uh, I kind of just lost hope for Maverick then. And then they came out with the... A1 shafts, and I picked a couple of them up, really liked them, so I was kind of like, you know, Maverick's not that bad, and then they released the Metric, and the Metric, I'd never used one, never have, um, but it looked a lot nicer than most of their heads, and it, um, a lot more people used it, 
and it strung up a lot nicer than most of their heads. So um, I was kind of like, you know, they're getting it. And then they released the Optic, and I had to pick one up. The Optic is just unbelievable. Top three favorite heads out right now. And um, I just really hope Maverick keeps improving. And uh, so that's all I'm going to say. If you haven't picked one of these up, I definitely suggest you do. Um, but then again, this is just the overview, not the review, so I can't really tell you why you should pick it up. I'm just saying, if you like a low-profile, um, little minimal graphic, nice, clean, traditional shape shaft with a uh, adjustable butt end, definitely pick this up. It's the best you're going to get on the market um, besides the new A1 shafts that they came out with. Um, those things are sick. Pretty much any Maverick shaft um, that is recent from 2013 or 2014, if you pick it up, it's going to be good. I feel like I'm pointing with this a lot. That would look really cool in 3D. Okay, I need to stop this video before I completely weird everyone out. But, um, oh, one more thing. Maverick is the first company to pick up on this. Um, there was a sticker right there. And it was the warning label sticker. And usually when I peel off the warning label on new shafts, it gets that white kind of half paper, half adhesive rip. And that stuff, I spend so long scraping that stuff off, getting wet towel and trying to rub it off. I spend like 20 minutes on that all the time. Maverick is the first people to put a warning label sticker on a shaft and have it come off right away. I pulled the sticker off and there was nothing. So, shout out to Maverick for that. That's awesome. I've been waiting for that. That's my favorite part about this, is that sticker. There you go. I'm ending the video on that.